Thanks. Enjoying the sun first thing this morning, aren't you, matey? You are a sun worshipper. I do worry about you because us gingers, mate, we're only supposed to spend a, as minimal amount of time in the sun. It's not the best for us. We're vulnerable to it. Good morning, guys. Welcome back. It is a glorious sunny day here in the staggeringly beautiful Dartmouth. A place that if you've been hanging around for a while, know that we spent an awful lot of time in last year. So we're not going to spend a huge amount of time here this year. It's a bit of a flying visit, sort the boat out, restock, refuel, rewater, sort of tanks out, all that jazz. And we're going to be pressing on further west, but we are in a moment going to take Hank for a walk. We're going to take him for a walk somewhere we never actually made it to for whatever reason last year. And I'm going to bring you with us because there's something I really want to focus on this year, and that's trying to be a little bit more self-sufficient in acquiring our food. I want to try and catch and cook an awful lot more in the way of fish and crabs and lobsters. We've taken Hank on some amazing walks to some staggering places where I've always stopped and gone, oh, this looks like a great place to catch some fish. But I didn't have any fishing gear with me, and I also never really wanted to carry around a cumbersome amount of fishing gear every time I took him on a walk. So I've put together like a little stealth pack. I'm going to share that with you now. So come and check it out. Here it is, the Hunter Gatherer Pack. The Gatherer Pack looks admittedly a bit like a school satchel, but inside is all the means necessary to catch our dinner. Open it up here. So we have all sorts. We have uh, Vaseline, we have uh, cotton wool, all essentials, which will become more apparent later on. We have some, some line, we have some lures, and most importantly we have this little beast this is a telescopic power packed rod and reel combo with braided line and this just stows away you can deploy it at will like a lightsaber you know i watch riley on the vagabond i watch young bloods i watch a load of these guys dive into the water with their spear guns like like aquamen holding their breath for a quarter of an hour and spearing fish and i and i admire them I admire them and I watch them and I like to think, yeah, I could do that. I could do that too. But the problem is this, you see, Steven Spielberg did a number on me as a kid. Because I'm in the water for a while, I'm thinking I can do this, I can do this, and then... And then the music starts playing. You know the music, the music. Ah, and it just, just freaks me out and I end up getting out of the water. Not only that, but as I'm getting older, I mean, I'm about to turn 40, which I realise isn't ancient, but... I, I, the idea of being able to hold my breath for as long as I need to to get down there, just I just don't know if that's going to be a thing. I think as I, as I'm getting older, I want things to become a little bit easier, you know, a little bit, a little bit. I'm going to use the tools that are available at my disposal to try and be a little bit more self-sufficient. And I think there's more people in the world like that. I don't think I'm the only one. But let's see how I actually get on with them. So take Hank for a walk and try and find somewhere interesting to fish. Let's go. I think we need about another 1.2 million subscribers and then we can give Kiff Savills a call and find out <laughs> what this place is going for. It's like a little gully, as say, runs all the way through here. Patch of rocks here, patch of rocks here, so see if there's anything in the middle there. Today, fish one, Dom Mill. That was worth a try. Bad luck next time by the looks of it. All right, let's get back to the boat. So, kind of, I came to agreeance with Carly in the end that the, the, Tohatsu, the legendary Tohatsu outboard that is retro cool was kind of letting the side down with the aesthetics 
So, nah. All the way from the US of A. <laughs> Old new stock. We are once again retro cool. Ah, it's just better. That, to me, is British eccentricity in all its glory, and I, I love it. <laughs> I actually love it, it's amazing. That's the most head-turning car I've ever seen. <laughs> Seriously. Alright, good morning. I'm being quiet, because Carly and Hank are still asleep down there. It's about five o'clock in the morning. And I'm just about to go and check, see how we got on with our lobster pot. Did we get any more food? We've pulled our lobster pot up this morning and it's my first ever lobster. First one ever. I'm excited, but he looks a little bit small, so we'll be putting this one back. But nonetheless, look at that. First ever lobster. Look at that. Eh? Bit on the small side, but. Should we put them back? Let's put them back. Go on, little one. You're free. Uh. Couple more years. Might have made it onto the dinner plate. Oh well. I'm going back to bed. <laughs> There's something I always find about being up this time in the morning is really magical, you know, it's almost as if the world is yours, you know. You've got the whole place to yourself whilst everybody else sleeps. You've just got that little bit of edge, you know, you've got a little bit of extra time in the day to get something done. So we were anchored in the mouth of the river um, for a few days now, but the harbormaster came over and told us we'd have to move super early in the morning because there was going to be a large boat coming in. Now where we are would normally be fine, but there's a couple of boys that the boat was going to be moored between and we were on anchor and so therefore we had risk of swinging onto them. So he wanted us to just move it over slightly and give them plenty of room. So that's what we did, we woke up super early in the morning, moved our anchor over and then watched it come in. Should we go back to the story? I can see it above the houses. It is going to be big. Look at it. I'm not sure how this works, but I imagine they tie the lines on and then the boat will winch it in there and to tighten it up. Because it seems oh, there's a fair bit of slack. I'd hate for them to swing that distance. <laughs> towards us. You don't know why we're all up so early. Why are we up so early? <laughs> Have you noticed there's a big boat next to us? <laughs> so the, uh, the cruise ship has now 
anchored or it gets moored up and uh, we'll settle down but oh, we can just hear all the tannoids <laughs> Everyone, please make their way forward to the departure lounge, please. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, we feel like we're on it, but except we have to do our own cleaning and yeah. I'm still working here. We feel like we had like a waiter or something come and take our stuff. I could live with a tannoy then, but we don't, do we? <laughs> the muggins here, scrub a dub dub is doing everything as usual. Oh, I'm working here, I'm working, fulfilling orders. Whilst Hank is sneezing. It's the night before we leave, and some of Carly's family have come down to uh, Dartmouth for a bit of a family break. They're wondering who I'm talking to. It's the camera, my darling, it's the camera. <laughs> uh, we've invited around for a few drinks and a bite to eat, and the bit we're looking forward to the most. It's the first time Carly and I have had a bath in a year, potentially. Yeah, we've walked so other ways. We've had showers. You haven't, you? This is like luxury, isn't it? It's so like, yeah, just to lay in the bath and soak. Yeah, we've stopped, we've unwinded, we've, we've met some friends, we've had some delivery sent down, now it's time to carry on. So, since we're now heading to uncharted territories for us, we're going to have a bath, we're going to be re zened re tuned re jigged yeah. You're going to be clean! <laughs> <laughs> Are you excited about the mussels? So excited. There's so many of them. Might be chewy. Okay. Is any... Yeah, just in case. Good chat, man. It's been a long day, hasn't it, mate? What you reckon? Yeah. <laughs> How clean are you feeling right now? Oh, so clean. I just washed my hair and I even put like a hair mask on you it. Put a hair mask? There. Where was my hair mask? I don't see hair masks <laughs> lying around. Hair. I don't get a hair mask, do I? Just, you stash that all the good stuff away for yourself, yeah, don't yeah. you? I'm just, I get some imperial leather and a flannel. <laughs> nice. But yeah, feeling, feeling good. good. And it's nice and calm and beautiful. Yeah. yeah. We had a good feed, a good wash. A um, good feed. You know, Thank got to spend some time with some lovely people down here, some lovely friends at a nice house, great view, good company. And now, I say early night, it's like 10 o'clock at night. Is it? Yeah, it's nearly 10 o'clock at night. So oh, it's nearly 10. Let's get to bed. Yeah, we're going to let Hank have a stretch and a wee, and then we're going to get back to the boat, tidy the boat up tomorrow morning, I imagine. Yeah. And then uh, we're heading off on the next leg of our adventure and to new for this channel, to new territory. We're heading to Salcombe. It's not very far. I say it's somewhere new, it's somewhere beautiful, it's somewhere that I think absolutely deserves to be showcased. And so if you haven't been there or you haven't seen it, well, you're going to see it pretty soon. <laughs> right, we'll see you in the morning for the off, yep. and then over to Sarkin. Just before we leave Dartmouth, um, Dominic's going to take Hank to shore, and we picked up our post yesterday from Amzi, as uh, so we've got our new cushion covers, and she's made us this little um, springboard cushion. So if you've seen how we lower the ladder at the back to be able to get Hank off the boat and then onto the dinghy, so this is now a, a cushion made specifically for that purpose so we can velcro it onto the bars and then this will be his springboard. It's in, it is in. Put this in place and when Hank gets back we can see how it works out. That we could test it out. How muddy is he? We could put this on there. Yeah. To protect it from the mud. Oh, good shout. Good boy. Good boy yeah. Look it works. That. Solid, isn't it? Yeah. Much better. Can you down? Come. Look at this. Yeah. Okay. Better. 
a huge thank you to everybody who's visited the Etsy shop. Um, you've been ordering lots of leads, collars and bracelets, it's been keeping me busy and it's been a huge help and support. So thank you very, very much. Yeah, and as always, just a huge shout out to everyone who's shared, liked, commented on these videos, shared your knowledge. Anyone who's taken the time to sit through an advert, we love you. Thank you very much. It makes a world of difference. If you don't sit through the advert, we don't get two cents. If you do sit through the advert, we get two cents. It's as simple as that. And enough of those add up over time. And a massive, massive thank you to the absolute superstar mega legends that are the people that support us on Patreon. Both the Patreon post and the regular members, you guys are angels. Thank you very much. And uh, a big shout out to the most recent ones that have joined up just in between yes. last video and now. We've got Sailing Yacht Christy and Gary O'Grady. And we have Kenneth A. Helmer and Dan from the Isle of Man. It's got, it's got and, and Andrew Connolly. All of you guys are, are legends. Thank you very much. Along with everyone that's been with us for you know so long now, from the new to the old, all of you are, we're just one big family. And I hope you guys all enjoy the extra little bits of content that we put on there as well, which is just me having maybe a little bit too much free time with a keyboard, but just slightly more deeper personal insight into how we're feeling, what's going on, and there's there's definitely a lot more to come on there because we've had some crazy adventures by this point in proceedings. So we've got lots of exciting news. Yeah, lots of great stuff. Anyway guys, thank you very, very much for all your help, all your support. Thank you for hanging out with us for 15 minutes when I know the whole world is vying for your attention. It means a lot. And uh, we will hope to take you with us to explore another part of this beautiful country next time. Alright, bye for now. See you. Why? I don't Why? know. Why? Why do you keep doing it? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mads, I just totally appropriate in your thing. That's... <laughs> no, it's just. <laughs> you just do it! You just do it! There's just a million different. So many, you know, there's so many different YouTube channels we watch. Mads, can we share that? So it just, it just slips off the tongue. Can we share it? <laughs> Give me the Trident Warrior thing. Jeez Louise. Alright, ciao. See ya. <laughs>